Hey guys, got a great light to review today. Thanks to Danielle from Mammoth Lighting for sending it in. It's their 800 watt 10 bar fixture. It's a pretty big fixture, weighs in at about 22 kilograms or um, about 50 pounds. Uh, it's almost as big as a four foot by four foot or 120 by 120 centimeter grow area. And that's what it's recommended to be hung in. However, um, in my own view, the 10 bar version has too much power for that size of tent. So I've tested it in a five by five or 150 by 150 centimeter tent. Um, yeah, so I got it out of the box. Nicely built unit, fairly easy to put together. You just slide these bars in onto the chassis and um, screw them tight into position and plug them in. That center chassis or box contains the drivers inside and also has controls on so you can um, dim up and down manually at, uh, on the light fixture itself. Or you can use this little, little plug-in control panel which you can change the lighting schedule, uh, turn it on and off and uh, adjust dimming in bands of 20, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. You can also connect these units, multiple units together uh, using this RJ cable and um, you can switch dim multiple units, switch multiple units on and off, that type of thing. Um, manual wise, information is pretty basic. Uh, doesn't really set up, set up, give you setup information, but uh, I'll give you that. Um, just you can get this same format uh, with uh, eight bars on it, which is 640 watts. That, in my view, would be um, perfectly fine in a five by five. Uh, and you can get a five bar version, which is 400 watt output. And that would be, in my view, ideal for a four by four, 120 centimeter by 120 centimeter tent. You can also get individual UV bars, um, that's UVA, and you can put some of them into the fixtures. I think they do a 640 watt version with uh, some uh, two UV bars. So that would be eight white ones and uh, two UVs. Uh, in terms of the spectrum test, just ran it through. It's uh, not um, anything unusual really, it's 3.5K colour spectrum uh, LEDs, white LEDs mixed with 660 nanometer reds. So the overall is um, sort of a neutral white, perfectly suitable for growing from seed to harvest. Then did the power test, uh, so put it into a 5x5 five five or 150 centimetre by 150 centimetre grow area. Dropped it down until the center measurement or the highest reading was at a thousand par to calibrate it. It gave a hanging distance of 50 centimeters. And uh, yeah, reflective walls all around. Uh, tested the power input very close to 800 watts even. And yeah, took the measurements. At 100% output on the dimming, the average power output in the 5x5 five five was 747 micromoles. And that equates to a power output per watt input or an F efficiency of 2.12 micromoles per watt. So really nice efficient fixture here. As I said, good build quality, uh, lots of flexibility with it. Um, and yeah, um, no real negatives. A couple of sort of suggestions for improvement really would be my um, my sort of bugbear a little bit is having the uh, these drivers uh, mounted on the light. Why won't they they um, locate them separately? But um, that's their format, and uh, you know there's nothing particularly wrong with it. It's just a suggestion. Um, LEDs are covered in this instance. I forgot to mention that they do have a conformal coating over them to protect them against just water and dust. So that's great. Uh, information provided with them in the manuals isn't great, as I said. They could probably do with updating that and um, giving you accurate uh, hanging height information and that type of stuff. 
Um, but other than that, it's a really, really good light. Thanks again, as I said, to um, Mammoth for sending it through. And they're gonna send me through their due a new model this year, 2020. So we should see that uh, hopefully during the year for test. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Any comments or suggestions, please leave them below and take care.